Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bohan. Today we are going to going through another free challenge on the Blue Team Labs Online. The challenge we are going to going through is uh, log analysis, privilege escalation, and uh, uh, basically this challenge is uh, uh, pretty beginner friendly. I think you just need to analyze some. Um, bash history file for a Linux machine. Um, it, it, it is basically you just read through the um, text file and uh, figure out what the attacker did on the machine. Um, so let's get started. So all you need is a text editor, uh, which I have already um, downloaded the file uh, on my on my uh, Bluetooth machine. So we can just jump to the Bluetooth machine and uh, uh, once you download downloaded the file, you will get two files. Um, the file you would need is this bash, hi uh, bash history file. If you don't know what bash history is, um, I think uh, you can just, uh, on every single Linux, there is a file to record all your command you have typed in. So I'm under my, um, under my home directory and which if you list all this uh, hidden file, uh, bash, bash history is uh, one of those hidden files you have to use uh, list um, dash la to show it. So if you cat this file, you will say, um, you will see that all the commands histories I have been typed um, I have been typed in this you uh, under this user, so this is really helpful. Uh, in case that if the attacker does not um, attacker does not remove the log or some attack, they would uh, remove this file after they successfully performed the attack. But in the case that um, if the attacker does not remove this file, you can definitely use it as one of the resource to doing some uh, analysis on the attack. So let's jump back into the questions. Um, so this, um, the first question is what user uh, other than root is present on the server, which is, uh, you can just read through the logs. So basically what the attacker did is they, um, they get on the machine and they did a, a listing hidden file. Um, they removed the backup um, backup folder, and uh, they showed their um, current directory and they did some enumeration on the current user uh, because this is a typical way that when attacker get on the machine, they will run the WMI to decide what kind of privilege they have. So. So uh, they did like a cd slash root uh, trying to get into the root directory, but I believe that they failed to do so. Um, so they changed the directory to the home Daniel. Um, so they changed the directory to the home Daniel, so which is one, uh, our first questions to answer. Um, in the Linux, you will have the uh, all the directory, uh, all the users was being installed installed under the home directory. So in this case, I have the analyst user under the home directory. So uh, in this particular uh, questions, it's asking for uh, what user is present on the server, so which is Daniel. And uh, the second question is asking for what script did the attacker try to download to the server? Um, which you can find it just by reading through the logs. Um, you can find that the attacker was trying to su to the root, uh, which is trying to switch the user to the root. Um, but I believe that uh, he he or she failed to do so. So the attacker try the the attacker is trying was trying to escalate the privilege, and uh, um, the attacker is trying to find the per uh, or Python on the system to see if he or she can use this um, 
they use this uh, two language to leverage um, to 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 leverage this two language to run some privilege es escalation command. So the Python was being identified. So they you they spawn the Python TTY shell. Um, if you don't know what this command does, basically it gives you a fully interactive shell. Uh, on the command uh, on the system, so it will make their life much easier. So it does. Then he did like a bash, uh, bin bash file. Uh, run the bin bash and uh, give like a bin bash shell. And uh, and the attacker then go to the temp folder. Uh, run the w get, which is download. Um, which is a download command on the Linux system. So it downloads, it downloads this Linux exploit suggester, uh, which is, this is pretty obvious. So um, if you Google this on the GitHub, uh, which is one of this um, like automatic, automatically uh, runs through a bunch of commands to give you a uh, all the vulnerable CVE on the system you can potentially use to leverage uh, to doing privilege escalation, which is pretty uh, helpful, uh, especially if you're doing any sort of CTF or um, any sort of stuff that you wish to uh, getting the results back very fast. Um, but this is really obvious for us to find out. So it is the Linux expo is suggester.sh, uh, which it is the answer for the second question. Third so question is, what pa uh, packet analyz analyzer two did the attacker try to use? Uh, which the question we can use, we can see that once the attacker, um, once the attacker saved this file to the les.sh uh, file, the attacker, um, I think we can just focus on the, on the, the question, particularly these questions. Uh, so after he or she did a, like a, um, enumerating the network configurations on the, on the system, then then the TCP dump was being run. So the TCP dump is basically, it is a network traffic analysis tool. It is really useful. So um, that question would be the answer. And the, the, for, um, the fourth question is what file extension did the attacker use to bypass the file upload filter implemented by the developer? So this question, uh, we can find that we have this, um, we have this file. Um, this command was being run under the under the var www html uploads x .phtml, uh, which is this folder which is used to store the all the files being uploaded to the uh, web server, and uh, it has a phtml. So the way that the attacker used is to bypass this. Uh, file extension. Sometimes they would uh, just uh, change the file extension if the web uh, web application does not doing enough um, enough like um, filter. It will be um, bypassed easily with the simple um, file extension change. And uh, we can move to the next question. So the last question is. Based on the commands run by the attacker before removing the PHP shell, what misconfiguration was exported in the Python binary to gain root level access? So the first one, you have reverse shell, second file upload, third file write, fourth SUID, five library load. So you want to just uh, give like a choose your options in here. Um, so this one, uh, this command, if you ever did like any CTFs, um, hacking CTF, you know what this command does. Um, 
basically it is um, doing a, like a enumerating all the enumerating all the SUID uh, potential vulnerability uh, potential vulnerable SUID permissions um, for that particular user's root. Um, so, uh, so we know that the particular vulnerability the attacker abused is the uh, SUID, which is a misconfiguration. And uh, once the misconfiguration was being exploited, um, the attacker just run this command, uh, and uh, um, that and then the last thing is that the 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 file was being removed. Um, so that is the question. Uh, that is a challenge for today. Uh, this one is pretty basic, but is it is uh, still pretty. Uh, fun to do and uh, I highly recommend you guys going to check it out and uh, uh, Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you guys next time